Hi there, I'm Michael Underwood, dad of two and celebrity MasterChef finalist, and welcome to my brand new series for Scott Food, Cooking for Kids. Today, a fantastic dessert for kids. This is all your ice cream with a Nutella sauce. Now, who doesn't love an ice cream? My children absolutely do, of course. But this is different. What I've done is I've replaced the refined sugars in this particular recipe. Um, obviously, there's a lot of things about refined sugar at the moment, and if you can get it out of a recipe for children, why not? And so I found a way to do that, and replacing it with maple syrup and agave. So, let's crack on with this. And um, we'll start with five egg yolks in a large bowl. And to these, I'm gonna add 50 milliliters of maple syrup. Then once that's in, just give it a whisk. So this is the base of our custard. So once you've whisked those together, we concentrate on this bit. This is really important now. You want to mix together the double cream, the milk, the agave, and also a little bit of salt as well. That all goes into one pan. Don't forget, if you need the recipe and you want all the specific measurements, just check out the website. Everything you need will be on there. And then you just need to put the double cream milk mixture onto a medium heat and slowly bring it, not quite to the boil, but just as you start to see it simmering. So once the custard base has just started simmering, you can see the bubbles around the edge, it's time to pour it very slowly into your egg mixture, whisking the whole time, so very slowly. Then once it's all in, keep whisking for a bit. And what we're gonna do is we're putting all of this back into the pan. Now you need to put this back onto a medium heat and make sure you keep stirring it. What's going to happen is this custard is going to thicken up very gradually but it will thicken up. Now once you're happy with the thickness of your custard it's time to pour it through a sieve. The only reason to do this is because occasionally it catches at the bottom of a hot pan so you just want to filter out just any tiny little lumps we can get them out at this stage. And once you put it through the sieve, just add a small amount of vanilla extract, give it a stir, and then set it aside. You need to get it down to room temperature before you put it in the fridge for about an hour or so. And while you're waiting for your custard to cool, it's the perfect opportunity to check out my other recipes on the website. And if you or your children have a sweet tooth, you have to look up my flapjack one. It is fantastic. Don't forget, if you like it, subscribe. So the custard has chilled nicely and it's ready to be made into ice cream. But of course, this is Oreo ice cream, not any old ice cream. So we need to get those ready. Now, I've just got uh, your normal size Oreos here. Now, a lot of people break these up, so you'll see them with the roll and smashing them up to get them into an ice cream. That's not really for me. I like to have like nice chunks of it when I'm eating my ice cream. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut these into sort of rough quarters. Let's just take some of them here. And we're gonna add these roughly halfway through. So if you keep an eye on the mixture, as it starts to stiffen up slightly, then you want to pop these in. But we'll pop those over to one side for now. They'll go in, in a little bit. Uh, so this is what you need. An ice cream maker. This is just a really cheap one. You can fill it up about 20 pounds. Um, and this will be perfect for making our ice cream. So what you have to do is pour your custard into here. But don't forget, very important, you've got to have it on before you start pouring it in. Otherwise, as soon as it hits that frozen bowl, it's gonna stiffen up and it won't be able to turn. So let's get going. After telling you that I was removing most of the refined sugar from this recipe, I'm now about to tell you how to make a Nutella chocolate sauce, which is packed full of refined sugar, but it is optional. So you don't have to use it if you don't want to, but it is really nice and really simple as well. All you need is a jar of the good stuff. Uh, take a spoonful out like this. Pop it into a bowl. And basically all you're gonna do is add single cream until you get the consistency that you're happy with for your sauce. Now obviously this isn't a recipe for every day. You don't want to be pumping your children full of all the sugars and everything, but it's great for a treat, maybe a birthday, maybe they've been particularly good at the weekend. So now we can go and get the ice cream and get it all served up. So there you have it, all your ice cream ready to go with a nice Nutella sauce to go on top. Now you just get to sit back with your children and enjoy it. And don't forget, if you want to post your pictures, you can. We're at Scott Food on Twitter and Instagram. I'll see you soon.